A man set his EV scooter on fire. He was quite outraged at Ola for first giving a faulty scooter and then not responding to his concerns. He had already gotten the scooter serviced by Ola three times before. See, I have mailed you the time. It is almost 11 o'clock in the morning, 10.30 in the morning. In another instance, a man tied his Ola scooter to a donkey and paraded it around town. In fact, Sachin Getetu did the same. September, I booked the Ola company for the first time. It was in March 20th, March 20th. And in March 20th, it was in March 20th. 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 After these incidents, Ola has now recalled its 1441 e-scooters to be inspected by its engineers and conduct diagnosis on its batteries. So what's happening with these Ola scooters? The Ola electronic scooters offered a smart vehicle control unit, an octa-core processor, 3 GB of RAM as well as high-speed connectivity through 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and a 7-inch touchscreen. But what the customers got in return was faulty scooters, bad customer service and physical injuries. The reasons for the mishap. The battery management system has been flagged off as a major cause of concern for electronic vehicles. Broadly for three reasons. Manufacturing defects, external damage or a fault in the battery management system which has now come to light. The BMS works as an oversight to the batteries. It monitors and regulates the charging, discharging and temperature of these batteries. It also ensures safety risks are eliminated by keeping the voltage in check. As India is now moving towards adopting electronic vehicles, there's a need now to resolve the recurring issues. Ola's response to this? Well, Ola for the largest part has evaded responsibility, calling it an isolated incident. In fact, Ola has blamed one of the accidents on the speed of the vehicle and completely put the blame on the rider altogether. The government's response on this. Well, the union government has now noted concerns with electronic vehicles. In fact, Niti Aayog released a draft battery swapping policy for electronic vehicles and suggested incentives as well as rigorous testing protocols for swappable batteries. We need to have a testing system by which we need to test the battery and say, with the appropriate test, then we can certify. And now my request to all manufacturers that by using these sales, they should be cautious. Otherwise, our purpose will be forfeited. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.